Hello? It is I, Dexter. Can you hear me in there? Thank you for volunteering for this important time travel experiment. I'm going to need you to input your profile into the system before we begin. Stand by and I'll bring it up on your monitor. Excellent. Bioscan is complete. Let's make sure your communicator is functioning. All communication systems are functional, Dexter. I will be able to reconnect with the volunteer upon arrival in the future. Affirmative. <laughs> All right, I'm powering up the main engine now. You may feel a little bump. <laughs> wow, are you seeing these readings? A fine day for science indeed. Prepare for launch. Three. Ooh, what does this two, button do? One. Baby. No! Error, you have been sent much farther into the future than Dexter intended. Watch out! Where did you come from? Not now, number five. We gotta move. Follow us. Initiate training. Please move the... Good. Now move... Excellent. Now push the mouse forward to look up. Very good. Now pull the mouse back to look down. Use the W, A, S, and D keys to move. You may also use... Good. To move backward. Very good. While moving, you can steer left and right by using the mouse. Try holding down the... Excellent! You can also move side to side by... To jump, press the space bar. To jump forward, hold the W key while jumping. Please jump onto this ledge to join Ben and number 5. Look! It's a bunch of fusion spawns! You get those, we'll handle this guy! Here! Take this weapon! To attack, to fire at your target, you can tell how much damage you are doing by looking at your target's health bar at the top of your screen. Woohoo! Nice work, guys! Those creeps turn back into fusion matter when you beat them. Make sure you collect as much as you can. It's real important stuff. You will automatically collect fusion matter from defeated enemies. The amount of fusion matter you have is displayed in your fusion matter meter. As you defeat more enemies, your fusion matter meter will continue to fill up. Warning, more hostiles incoming. We got more company. It's a 
Cyberus. Let's take him down. Damage to you is indicated on your health card. If your health reaches zero, you will be knocked out. Yes, we did it! Nice shooting, by the way. You know, I just realized who you are. You're the kid from the past Dexter told us about. Well, you're in a world of trouble now. Look up in the sky. That's Planet Fusion, ruled by some nasty guy named Fuse. Fuse has covered the world with gross green goo, and those disgusting fusion spawns are wrecking everything! Fuse's monsters have evolved and adapted to our planet. You should see some of them. They use things called terrafusers to infect everything with goo. If the infection gets bad enough, Planet Fusion will absorb our way. Now that you're up to speed, can you go help number two? We gotta go help the others. I need some help with a super important mission. Report to me right away. Your communicator comes with a built-in mini-map. It will show you how to reach number two. You are the marker in the center of the mini-map. The red marker on the mini-map is number two. Look for the glowing energy rings to help you find number two. To t Characters with a mission for you will have a floating exclamation mark over their head. A character's available missions will display in a mission menu. Select number two's mission, Transmitter Critters, to continue. This attack was no accident. An oil ogre is using a transmitter to broadcast our position. We need to find that monster and get that transmitter. You ready? To accept the mission from number two, click the Accept Mission button at the bottom of your screen. To exit the mission menu, click the Close button. The mission's current objective is displayed on your screen. Your first task is to defeat the oil ogre that stole the transmitter. Use your minimap to locate your target. To me. Since you have completed your first task, your mission journal has updated. To open your mission journal, press the Enter key to access the main menu on the right side of your screen. Then select Journal. Your mission journal contains information on all your missions. It tells you who gave you the mission. It tells you what you need to do. It also tells you the reward you will receive once you complete the mission. Click the X in the upper right corner of your screen to close the journal. Your new task is to deliver the transmitter to number two. Note that your current objective has been updated and a new red marker has been set to number two. Click on number two to talk to- Characters with a mission to update will have a floating question mark over their heads. To update the mission, transmitter critters Select it from the mission menu. To accept your reward, click the Complete Mission button at the bottom of your screen. Click the Close button to exit the mission menu. You're ready for a nano, and I need your help. I think Dexter's in trouble. Congratulations. By successfully completing the mission from number two, you have filled up your fusion matter meter. When this meter fills up, you will automatically receive a new nano mission. Completing nano missions will reward you with new nanos. Every nano you collect will give you more powers and make you stronger. Select Buttercup's mission, a fusion matter. Dexter has disappeared. You've got to see if he's in the infected zone. I'll check out here. There's no time to Click the close button on the mission menu to continue. The most infected areas on the planet are called infected zones. Thanks to Fuse's Terrafuser machines, fusion matter is totally out of control inside. Ha! Huh, good thing Dexter set up energy shields to contain the infection. Your new task is to enter the infected zone to find Dexter. You can enter to use the warp gate. Target the blue... Very nice weather we are having. Stand by. 
I am trapped in Fusion Buttercup's lair. Quickly, find the Fusion Portal. Use the floating platforms to get across this dangerous pit of fusion matter to reach the fusion portal. You can enter a fusion portal the same Now, click the warp button to enter Fusion Buttercup's lair. Thank goodness you made it! I am over here! Come talk to me! Hurry! Select a fusion matter to continue. It is you! I knew we would meet again. My stupid sister messed up the time jump sequence and destroyed the time capsule. We need to get you back to the past so you can save our world. Fusion Buttercup is in the next room. We must stop her before she can cause any more damage. Fusions are dark, twisted versions of this planet's heroes, created by Fuse himself. They are extremely dangerous, but I think you can handle it. Are you ready? Let's go! Congratulations! You have made your first nano! Like fusions, nanos are made of fusion matter. You have used the fusion matter you collected in your fusion matter meter to create Nano Buttercup. Don't be discouraged by her size. She may be small, but she is powerful. Your communicator is now a nanocom. It has the ability to store up to three nanos. Whoa! That does not sound good. You can escape the Dex Labs using the warp gate I have set up. I must search this area and make sure Fusion Buttercup did not steal anything from my headquarters. Go to the warp gate to exit the area. To use the warp gate, target the blue Dex Spot attendant and click on it. Oh, and how are you doing? Initiate warp. <laughs> You can get to the scamper safely. You did great, but it looks like Buttercup and the rest weren't able to handle those other Terrafusers in time. Dexter says we gotta find Mandark so we can rebuild the time machine and send you back to the past. Let's get out of here! Despite our best efforts, Tech Square has been lost. But this war is not over yet. Not by a long shot. Our time-traveling friend here is just the hero we need. Between Mendark and Number Two, I am sure you will be able to rebuild my time capsule. Don't worry about me. I will be fine. Get back to Sector V and to safety. Dexter, out! All right, everyone. Next stop, Hero Square Sector V.